option for Joshua after the minute fight for Southpool was uh, Luis Ortiz. Are you... I wouldn't take out. I wouldn't have took Ortiz when I heard that. I thought I hope that fight didn't come off. You don't really? fight Ortiz at five weeks' notice. You just don't do it. It's you wouldn't have thought you thought it was a bad move. Five note. weeks' notice, without a doubt. You, you thought it was a bad move. Yeah, man, definitely. Really? At five weeks' notice, yeah. But why do you think? Or, do you think now Ortiz didn't take it because of the Wilder fight, or do you yes. think? I think that's the reason why why it didn't happen. Number one, he had, had more time to prepare yeah. to fight Deontay Wilder. Yeah. He believes he'll beat Wilder. What about the Money wise, but seven million. He, is he getting paid seven million to fight Wilder? You know what? I don't know. But what I'm saying is, did you ever get paid it, seven million? It, every fight. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, he, he now thinks I will beat Wilder this time, and I will be in Wilder's position. I will be in Wilder's position to box, to box Anthony Joshua on my terms. So, so, so he's got a chance of boxing Anthony Joshua at five weeks' notice. Vice versa for both of them, it was a bad move. Or, or he can box Wilder, who he thinks he's going to win, and then box Joshua for bigger money and more of an opportunity to beat him. Hmm. Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. <clears throat> I was just listening to a interview with Johnny Nelson. And I always try to get different perspectives of what people thought. And he was re talking about the Luis Ortiz versus Anthony Josh or the Anthony Joshua versus Luis Ortiz fight or potential fight. And he said that would have been a bad move. He said you don't box Luis Ortiz on five weeks notice. <clears throat> And, you know, it just would have been a bad look because <clears throat> I, I'm i understanding what he's saying and I know the reasoning behind it. Let's say Luis Ortiz would have took that fight. We know that he couldn't have took the fight because his uh, team was sabotaged. We, all, we know all that. But for those before we start, oh, you know, it's Wilder. We know it's Wilder. Okay, but you don't take that type of fight on five weeks notice like he was saying because if anthony joshua beat it, it would, if he would have beat him they would have blamed it on oh he didn't have enough time so that would have been a built-in excuse off the top so <clears throat> everybody would have been and and see and it's different than when i mean everybody i mean fans of ortiz but more than that fans of deontay wilder okay they would have that's the first thing they would have said because that would have been another common opponent between joshua and wilder and since joshua put him away and let's say he put him away earlier they'll say oh he was older plus he didn't have time to train and you don't do that especially on a short notice you know like five weeks you know and and really, honestly, it was by it was six weeks because by the time Miller had failed, I know I was out of the country at that time. So that might have uh, that was back in April. And <clears throat> I can't remember when the news broke, but I do remember that was earlier in the week. And what happened? I was out of the country, and Luis Ortiz had six weeks at that point. Now. I did a video about that, so it was a little bit more than five weeks, but approximately five weeks, and he was saying it's a bad move, and you have to look at it through Team Ortiz and what they discussed with him. You were like, fine, we'll beat Wilder this time, like Johnny Nelson was saying. We'll beat Wilder, then we have time to prepare so there won't be any excuses, and if he knocks out Deontay Wilder, people, it won't be an excuse at all. You know, that would be no excuses. And because he had to, again, he had to fight everybody, the referee, the judges, the politics of the game. He had to fight all that, fight through files and all that. But, you know, Ortiz didn't complain. You know, I think his team should have should have been more mindful because if that would have been Freddie Roach, Freddie Roach would have been, uh-uh, hell no. You don't, hit, you don't rabbit punch my fighter. You know, that goes for Virgil Hunter and any other trainer that had common sense to, 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 hey, look, take up for your fighter, right? But anyway, he had the time to, he has the time to properly train against Deontay. Um, and I think he took the uh, Deontay Wilder fight kind of quickly. I know it was in March. Um, it was in March. But anyhow, nonetheless, his team feels that he's going to win. Hey, I hope he wins. 
I really do. Because I think that, I don't think that you ever had a Cuban heavyweight champion. Ever. You haven't. Matter of fact, you haven't. Um, I think uh, Stevenson was, could have been, if he would have defected, but he never defected. And um, uh, Teofilo, um, or Teofimo, yeah. But he was a, uh, a, like a great amateur Cuban champion. And, you know, they offered him $5 million to fight Ali. If you guys don't know, I'll give you a backstory on that particular fighter. You know, he was, uh, he was pretty good. But, nonetheless, you've never had a Cuban heavyweight champion. And if you had one, that would really break the record. And you know what? If he actually knocked out Deontay Wilder, he doesn't really understand what that means or what that would mean until it happens. That means that probably for once in a lifetime, he would be the first Cuban heavyweight champion of the world, and then maybe he can open up political doors in Cuba. See, this is a little deeper than that. You got a heavyweight Cuban champion. That's different from other heavy, other, you know, heavyweight is a big deal, okay? Other divisions, that that's cool, you know, but heavyweight's always been the spotlight. That's why everyone's talking about the heavyweight division because it was dark. It wasn't in the Americas, you know, like it used to be for the last 10 years. Now it's back, okay? So if he's able to do that, he might open doors and he might get a country to back him, you know, maybe, maybe not. I know some things were progressing when, um, when we had certain presidents in the office, but I don't know about now. Anyway, it might open up doors for him and give him a lot of support that he needs, you know, but that is a good plan. And it's an interesting, uh, opinion by Johnny Nelson due to the fact that, I understand why he said that, you know, a fighter like Ortiz, you know, just like Dillian White, Dillian White didn't want to take the fight in a short notice, you know, and um, I'm always a fan of, of, of taking the risk, you know, because I know if that was me, I would have, I would have fought, but that's not always the smartest way. But then look at Dillian White now, right? Look at his career now. He's trying to get a fight with whoever, you know, and Tyson Fury's turning him down. Wilder's avoiding him like he's been avoiding him. And he's just fighting tough fight after tough fight after tough fight. So it's not always beneficial to turn down big opportunities, right? So, but again, Ortiz has his opportunity. And he's, I hope he's prepared. That's all I'm really going to say about it. You know, and uh, I just think it's interesting that Johnny, what Johnny Martin said, because you definitely don't want the naysayers, especially the haters of Anthony Joshua thinking, oh man, he just took a fight with a guy that was on high blood pressure medicine and it was short notice and you know, he didn't have time to prepare, you know, that's going to be the narrative coming from someone that's always on Instagram, posting pictures in the gym, at the track, you know, doing uh, all types of calisthenics, you know, not much as Joshua, but definitely, you know, track and field work all the time in constant shape. Right. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Johnny Martin's, um, opinion. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.